Now this is day four and we're leaving Taylor's arm. Meet Chappie on his KDM 1190. And my mate Tyson who organized this ride on his Nimble 790. And Adrian on that massive KDM 790. Adrian really needs Adam's bike. And how you going Brett? Vintage KDM 950. And look at that handsome devil. Alright man. Sweet mouth. Yeah, cheers bud. Have a good one back. Have a seat mate. Yeah. Have a great trip. See you soon no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> now Adam, Brett and Chappie, they were finding their own way back from Taylor's arm. Apparently they didn't trust my route. Should be alright to get home. Oh, holy moly, you can't even move that. And maybe my route wasn't suitable for a rear flat tyre. Who knows? Yeah. That was a ride. Bloody beautiful, mate. Very good. Went up a few trails, come back the same way because there was incidents, <coughs> trees in the way. Watching some silly prick change his tyres constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite part was the blokes having a good time, to be honest. It was real good. Now Adrian and I thought we'd give Adam just a couple of extra bars of soap just so he can have a good wash when he gets home. And then there was three. Adrian, Tyson and me. And we were going to take an awesome route back. Now off we go, heading towards Willowarrow. Yeah, but this is it. Cross the river up here and off you go. Apparently. Now Tyson just had zero trust that this was the right way to go. I don't know why. So watch out for that electric fence. And now it begins the secret track from Taylor's arm. Apparently it's doable, from what I hear. And it was at this point that poor Adrian started panicking. How long you your mate to the track? Last weekend. What? Stop panicking, alright? <laughs> what are you doing on? A two, um, 250 two stroke. <laughs> so it should be fine. Oh god. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? You'll be heaps better once you get a bigger bike. No, I just need to learn how to ride this one properly. <laughs> and off we went. Now my mate told me that there were a few trees down on this track due to the fires. That's uh, nothing we can't get around, surely. What a disaster. Maybe we can turn around and find a different track. I don't think we're getting through that. Quick check on the GPS and off we went.
Now the only problem was this alternate route seemed to be a bit worse than the other route. I don't know if this is the right way we should go. Get on your bike! <laughs> Watch your panniers! Hang on. <laughs> Was there a truck when we friggin went to the, um, through the trees? Did you see any truck on the right hand side? Don't you bring us back down towards that mark? Oh well, yeah, it will. Like, we could do a big fucking loop, it will. The other boys weren't happy. I was turning around again. <laughs> Turn your bike around! God! Freaking hell! But look, did I even say I wanted to lead? This was Tyson's ride. He should be leading. What's going on here? <laughs> well, yes, Adrian, it is easy when you're going downhill. Now we were back at that same spot and there was only one way to get around it and that was right up this bank. And Adrian was really hoping I wasn't going to make it up there because if I made it up there that meant he had to get up there. Easy! Just send it! <coughs> Fuck! And now it was Tyson's turn. Woo! You go, Adrian! Fuck you! <laughs> Get a bigger bike! Go, Adrian! Go, Adrian! Go, Adrian! Woo! Now I've got to climb back up. Just nothing looks steep on the video. And there we go. The hard part was done. It was just smooth sailing from here on in. All right, all good. And did someone say all good? Mm, yeah, no. <sighs> Nearly made it. Hang on. Oh. Alright, go. Oh. <sighs> kidding me. Whoa, whoa. Be careful.
dies in your bloody show off. Great, another tree to get around. Oh, this is becoming a nightmare. Where? Oh yeah. Yeah, I should have fucking went that way. There's a fucking hole there. I just put my foot in a hole. Yeah, hey, look. A bit of hole there. <laughs> Hadrian was really hoping this was going to be the last obstacle. I had a feeling it wasn't. Now I think this area is called Thumb Creek. Thumb Creek Yay! Nature Reserve and the views from up here were spectacular. That's the easy part done. That was nice. Yep. I like that. Yeah. It's worth it. Alright, easy part done. Yeah. Far out. Now we were trying to head home, but after looking at the maps and seeing how far we'd come, there was just no way. <sighs> Halfway to Bellbrook. Fucking hell. No point whinging about it. Finally, a gate to civilization. me this looks like people have been through here what? looks like people have been through here before there's tar I reckon we've found civilization Is that the way home <clears throat> home home, home. Can you pull my leg over? <laughs> uh, Alright, we're just going to go to Willow Warren. <clears throat> After riding way, way longer than what we thought we were going to be riding, I think it was about lunchtime. And we're all just keen on just having a drink and something to eat. Maybe work out whether we were even going to make it home. I might get a um, sausage roll or something from here. Now after filling up with some junk food and fuel, we are on our way, and this time it was a shortcut to Warhope, back through Willy Willy National Park. And this was another top secret track. Hopefully this one won't have any trees down.
turns out this track was absolutely fantastic. It's got to be one of the best tracks we did over the last four days. And this track would have been amazing if these fires hadn't have come through. And poor Adrian had to get up another bang. But thankfully this time it wasn't that hard. I oh, couldn't believe it. Another tree had fallen down. This has taken us forever. You'd be able to jump this. Bah. You can't go that way. We have to go that way. Going in there somewhere. It's the only way. <laughs> we were again making our own tracks around here. There's just no other way. And it was at this point I was thinking, there's just no way we're getting home. I was thinking maybe we're just going to have to spend the night at Warhope. But any more of this, we're not even going to get out of here before it gets dark. God, how'd you get your panniers through there? Oh, I think we touched. <laughs> Now it was just aim at the top of the hill and just ride. We've got to get out of here. We've been in here for far too long. And the last thing we want to do is get lost in here. Oh, I know, because I don't know which way to go. I think it's that one. No, I think it's that one. No, I think it's that one. No, I think it's that one. We'll go up there. Now it's lucky I've got a pretty good sense of direction and I've picked this track on the right hand side. This one's definitely going to get us home. I really have no idea why the guys worry about which way I go. I've always oh. got them home. <laughs> Eventually. You almost lost that penny bag on that tree then. What? Yeah. Ooh. How good does this look? Now as amazing as this track is, I had in the back of my mind that I think we'd done about 100 kilometers. There was no turn offs. And I just thought, oh man, I do not want to have to turn around up here. Whoa. The whole time I was just thinking, oh geez, I hope there's a way around any fallen trees or any collapses or anything like that. And looking at the map, it seemed like we weren't that far away from getting out of here. Far out. <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine if we have to turn around. <laughs> this is one of your best, mate. Mm. Well, I'm glad Tyson was happy, but I still had no idea whether we were actually going to get out of here. You see, we weren't even on any main track yet. We're gonna... This. What do you reckon's down in there? What do you reckon lives down in there? Well, I was thinking dinosaurs and yowies, but... Something prehistoric. But Tyson, the sensible one, just said, oh, maybe some feral pigs. Tyson just has absolutely no imagination. This is Wilson River Nature Reserve. And how good does this look? It was probably at this point that I knew there is absolutely no way we're going to make it home. It was starting to get cold. The rain was coming in. It was getting late. We just thought we're just going to have to find something at Warhope. Oh, it was awesome. That's it. That was missed out. That was the best one you've done yet. Right? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was. The best track. Yep. yep. And we even got here on time. Well, before daylight, before dark. Before dark, yeah. Before season. Yeah. That That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now we're gonna go the rest of the dark. <laughs> Look at that shit we've come through. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, it Look. could have got. It's gonna get worse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for you. Hey. Sick, bro. All right. <laughs> All right, take it easy. And then there was two. With Tyson heading home, Adrian and I thought it was going to be a safer option if we just found somewhere to stay. And it would give us an opportunity to go and have something to eat and a beer. It's been a massive day. And we were both looking forward just to chilling out. <sighs> Gonna have to do. <laughs> and that's day four done. What an awesome ride. Thanks again everyone for coming. And thanks everyone for watching. And then there was two. Two.